Welcome back friends, Mark Piotr here. I've been having some fun with the Drake Company mouthpieces lately. Aaron Drake makes mouthpieces in Texas and uh, he makes them to order. One of his models for the Alto Sax includes the mouthpiece that is being played by David Sanborn today. I believe it was 2014 when he made the model for him. Anyway, I've got one to try out today for you. Another model we're going to try by Drake is the Contemporary um, for alto sax. Well, since we've got two screamers in the running, we're going to try a third one, which is my Yonagasawa 7 uh, metal. But it's kind of an unfair test because this is modified from the original version with my own personal baffle that I made. You can watch a video on how I install the baffle in this piece. And then, just to give you kind of a reference point, since you're listening to a camera mic today, we're also going to include the Theowani Gaia 4, and this is a number 6. Uh, it's a darker mouthpiece, so that'll give you some context of just how bright and different the other three contenders are. For this test, we are going to use one alto sax reed. It is a Java Green from Van Doren, number two and a half. Um, I'm going to play this song in a low octave and a high octave so you can hear the difference. <laughs> to quote a David Sanborn melody. We're kind of... Next up is the Yonagasawa 7 metal. This reed was just about perfect for the Gaia 4 with a 6 opening. So it might be a little bit harder on these next three mouthpieces to blow. Alright, here comes the Drake Contemporary One for Alto Sax. This is a number eight opening. And I'll just let you know, eight is a little bit more than what I'm used to, but we're going to give it a try. Uh. 
time for the Drake model made for David Sanborn. Uh, it comes in resin or metal. David plays with a metal one of course, but this has the same specifications in resin. Uh, it's the same tip opening, the same shape, the same outer diameter. Uh, the inner diameter by the way is pretty tight. It's snug on my cork, but not terrible. So other than the material it's made out of, this is the same mouthpiece that he uses. This also comes with a ligature that was also designed by David Sanborn to fit really low on the reed. You can see it's very near the bottom there. Apparently that's the way he likes it. <laughs> it seems just a little bit louder. When I got out my decibel meter, I noticed that it's not really much louder, maybe one dB, but the overtone frequencies are just huge and crazy loud. <laughs> So here comes my summary of the four mouthpieces today, and I want you to leave comments below of what was your favorite or least favorite and why. The first one was the Theowani mouthpiece, the Gaia 4. Wonderful mouthpiece to play. It's got a little bit of brightness, it's got a little bit of rich darkness to it as well. So depending on the read and the style uh, of your airflow, you can get this to be kind of bright or kind of dark. Wonderful mouthpiece to use. The second piece was from Yanagasawa, the number seven metal. And I had a little bit of a tough time with the low notes on this today. Uh, in fact, overall, sometimes the low notes are harder for me on this piece generally, and today was one of those days. So I ran out of breath faster. But anyway, I do love the tone and I love the altissimo on this piece.
The third one up was the Drake Contemporary for alto sax. And the Drake has a real easy response. The low notes are easy, the high notes are easy. It is an eight opening, and for me, it's a little bit harder to find the pitch because I'm not used to it, but what a great mouthpiece. The tone is not bright and sizzly like I prefer, but it might just be what you are looking for. The fourth piece was from the Drake Company also, the David Sanborn Resin Number no. 8. All I can say is, wow. <laughs> the overtones, the brilliance of it is just superb. But it's not a sound for everybody. And I loved the low notes, They're, it's easy response, in tune up and down the horn. Uh, yeah, very fine mouthpiece. So, may not be your preference, but I'm loving it. Thank you, Aaron Drake. Thank you for watching my video, and I'll see you next time.